Hello and welcome to Container Bytes. My name is Mofi. I'm a developer advocate at Google focusing on running AI workloads on Kubernetes. Hi, everyone. My name is Kent Hua, and I am a global solution manager focused on AI and GKE type of workloads. Thank you very much for having me on, Mofi. In this video, we're going to showcase how to serve Gemma model on Triton server using TensorRD engine on GKE. Gemma is a family of lightweight open models built with the same technology and research that is used to create the Gemini models. As part of this release, Gemma comes with the 2 billion and 7 billion parameter model, both with pre-trained and instruction tuned model. So as part of this example, we're going to run through using the Triton inference server as the engine that actually serves our LLM model, in this case, Gemma. While Triton is the underlying inference server, we will be using the TensorRT LLM engine which is an open source Python library to optimize the performance of our Gemma model in this particular case. As part of this release, we also published four new documentation to run your Gemma model on GKE. This includes TGI, VLLM, TensorID LLM with Triton server, and SACSML. As Mofi mentioned, the four guides, this is an example of the guide that we'll be running through today. We'll be sharing a link in the description below. As part of the requirement for this tutorial, we will be requiring a key from Kaggle to download our model weights. What we want to do is from the Kaggle homepage, if we click on models, we're able to search for Gemma as the model we want to use. Within Gemma, you'll notice that this example we're using is TensorRT LLM. We have predefined weights that are already optimized. And in this particular case, both a 2B and a 7B instruction tuned variation. In order for us to download the key, we'll need to go to our profile and our settings and create a new token. By creating a new token, we would use this token and load it as a secret inside our Kubernetes cluster to use this to download the weights. In Cloud Shell, we can upload the secret by clicking Upload and selecting the file from our folder and giving it a path where we want to store the file. So now that we have our Kaggle.json file loaded into our Cloud Shell, we want to create a GK standard cluster. As part of creating a GK standard cluster, we need to be aware that your project has enough resources. In this case, as part of this example, L4 GPUs, as well as a particular region that has the L4s that you desire. In this particular example, we already have these environment variables set up for us. Next, we'll use the gcloud CLI tool to create a GK standard cluster in the desired zone. The next step is creating a GPU node pool. And what we're doing is we're creating, in this case, a G2 standard 12 single GPU L4 node pool with a single node. Now that the node pool is complete, we're ready to start deploying our workload. To download the model from Kaggle, we'll need the Kaggle secret available to our Kubernetes deployment. We create a Kubernetes secret using the following command. We'll also create a persistent volume to store our checkpoints. Now that we have our persistent store, we will use this job to download our model from Kaggle. With that Kaggle secret, we're able to now query and use the Kaggle CLI to download our model into our disk. As part of this job, we will also be updating configuration files from Tensor RT LLM to be able to use in our Triton server for our serving engine. Now that you've seen the file, we're going to apply it into our cluster to start this job. Here we can see the logs of the job downloading the required file from Kaggle to our persistent volume. Now that the weights are available and TensorRT LLM is configured, we can now launch our Triton inference server. This configuration describes how the Triton inference server is deployed. By executing this command, we are now able to kick off our Triton inference server. Now that our deployment is ready, we can double check with our logs and see that our services have started. Once our services are ready, we're now ready to test inferencing. On a separate terminal window, we can start a port forward to our Triton server. Now that port forwarding is available within our local environment of our Cloud Shell, we can send a test prompt to our inference server. In this particular user prompt, I'm going to ask the LLM, I'm new to coding. If you could recommend one programming language to start with, what would it be and why? We can see that we can send this to a particular context path within our Triton server, as well as sending our input. And in this particular case, we're using a temperature of 90% or 0.9 of a flow and 128 max tokens.
This is the formatted output from the inference server of our Gemma model. And this is formatted with JQ. In this video, we saw how to serve Gemma in the Triton server using the TensorAdi LLM engine. If you want to follow along with the documentation, you can find the links in the description below. If you want to learn more about Gemma and how to deploy Gemma to GKE and some other environments, links will be in the description below.